Oh, grandpa. Alright, we're in Surgeon Bay, Wisconsin. Dale Strushine has it set up in the permanent shacks. There's people outside just hole hopping. Um, the water is insanely clear here. I've never fished this clear water. You can see that in the aquifer, it's super clear. Keep him interested, keep him interested. Oh, Grant's got one. <laughs> he just came in. Oh man, they fight hard. This is a good one, too. Did yours? I mean, yeah, that's one. Huge shit coming out of the hole. Yeah, they fight, don't they? Yeah, they do, especially when you're in 40 feet of water. We got a school about three or four. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh my gosh, that is nice. Uh, Dale, do you ever do the treble hook above? Oh yeah, yeah, we got rods set like that, but I went away from that out here just because the current. You get so many of them snagged if they bite the bottom, then everybody snags the treble in the corner of the ice, and you lose the fish. Right at the oh, ice. I suppose. So what do you do with them? We, you can keep, you can keep ten of them. You in them that. Then, or what? Um, yeah, I'll do that, or just fry them. Yeah. yeah. Where else? There we go. Boy, this is a decent one. I know. I think you just gotta stay persistent. He's getting, I just don't want him to hit the edge of that ice. It's a decent one. Then they don't sit there and bruise their own meat. That's. I've heard that, I don't know if it works, but. Probably stuns them. See any? We yeah, just saw, so let you open up the door. Yeah, yeah. I just had one come on. Did you? Yeah, well, he went and hit it, and I said it too early. That's what I put on there. These 371s drop really fast, but that, I mean, you're, it doesn't really matter since we're not fishing deep water. All that little jig is way too small. Don't reel it up to the aisle, you're gonna bust it. Nice. Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, I see him over there. We saw him on the camera. What, what am I doing with this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, you gotta flip it. You have to reel left handed. Oh, the line. What happened to the line? I don't know. It might have broke inside there. Oh, really? it's fine. Yeah. Well, no, there's a sheet of ice down there. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You saw him on? Yeah, he's still on there. How is that kill real in the way? It's not bad. It's actually pretty smooth when you use it. Mid body. Mid body. Oh, that's why. Look at that, he smoked yeah. that little jig. <laughs> what did you get that little Well, so. Oh, there we go. He had a lot better control. Nice. No, that's too much of a hassle. That's a tungsten. So just got off the water for the uh, the whitefish bite. It's about one or so o'clock. We're gonna head out around 2:45, 3 for some walleye. The fog is absolutely ridiculous out there. Hunter and I personally didn't catch a ton of whitefish. Caught like four, which is ridiculous. It, we saw a ton on the Yaka view, and I don't know. I've never whitefished before. It's a new thing. We're gonna go out white fishing tomorrow. Um, hopefully the fog isn't as bad. I don't think it should be. I might film a little bit of walleye fishing. If not, thanks for watching today's episode. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Also, uh, subscribe for more content, weekly content. Um, and be sure to check out our social media pages. Follow us there. Get all the updates. If we're done fishing for the night and you don't see us back, we'll see you tomorrow. So just meet us right back here.